Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be doing a green smoky eye makeup tutorial. So let's get started. First step is to use an eyeshadow primer. If you don't have one, I don't have one, then using a concealer is an absolute must for long lasting flawless eye makeup. I am using LA Girls Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Natural. This secret beauty weapon ensures your eyeshadow stays put. When it comes to smoky eyes, this is crucial since the focus is on your eyes. Just apply it with your finger or a brush. I will use a flat brush to distribute it evenly on the eye area. This is a concealer brush. It's typically shaped like a paintbrush but is slightly denser with firm bristles. This type of brush is used for applying concealer over the eyelids or under the eyes as well as cream eyeshadows. This will prevent your shadow from creasing or fading and they help the hues stay vibrant throughout the day. A concealer will also help cover up any discoloration or veins which will create a smooth even canvas for you to work on. Before this concealer starts to settle in those fine lines and crease and dry up, I'm going to set it with some translucent powder. This will help prevent the eyeshadow from looking patchy and make the color super easy to blend out. The powder is going to soak up any greasiness as well as give the eye a soft matte base. I'm using a translucent powder from Engol Collections. It is so finely milled it helps give full coverage that feels so lightweight enough to wear it all day. To apply that I will use a buffer brush. It's just a small brush with short dense bristles and a dome tip. This will pick up that finely milled powder and softly blend away the harsh concealer application edges and camouflages pigmentation in hard to reach areas like the corners of your eyes and upper lash line. Just grab this brush, dip it into a generous amount of powder and press the product gently into your eyelids until you have covered the entire area. After that, you're all set to start applying eyeshadow. To apply the first eyeshadow color, I will use this tapered blending brush. This makes applying and blending product along the lid and outer corners of the eye a breeze. I am using this matte bronzer powder. Apply a light colored brown eyeshadow to your upper lid and over your brow bone, blending in the direction of your temples. This is the Dior 564 Sun Deck Palette. This has five eyeshadow shades. I will apply the dark colored eyeshadow. This is a medium dark red toned brown with a satin finish. To apply this, I will use a fluffy blending brush. This is a great pick for creating smoky eye and dramatic look. The tapered brush allows you to put more concentrated colors into the crease. Apply the dark eyeshadow to the outer corner of your eye and to the lower lash line. I will then use a clean blending brush. This has semi-soft bristles that are gentle on the skin without compromising on the finish. This is a great brush for beginners and also a great brush for blending out eyeshadows, hence the name blending brush. I will use this brush to blend back and forth using a windshield wiper motion and blend over the work I've just done to ensure there are no harsh lines and to further merge the two eyeshadows together for a flawless blend. Next eyeshadow is a light medium greenish teal with subtle warm undertones and a frosted finish. I will apply this using my fingers as a base first, then I will use a flat eyeshadow brush. This brush is essential for a great eye makeup application. You are looking for dense, firm bristles and a bit of a thicker brush. Then using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus on the brush, I would lightly mist the brush. This will make the eyeshadow look more expressive and bold. Your eyeshadow might feel a little moist upon the initial application, but once it dries, your eyeshadow will have you looking wow. Using the same clean fluffy brush, go over the eyeshadows to blend them all in. Use an eyelash curler, curl the top lashes and don't forget your bottom lashes. Using the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eye Pencil in Ultra Black Glitter, I will intensify my lashes. Tight lining is used to boost the intensity of your lashes and visibly neutralize any sparse sections. Use this technique to make your eyes stand out by adding definition and intensity. Using the same green eyeshadow, dry this time, I will apply it to the lower lash line and blend it with the black eye pencil I applied earlier. Then I will use the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes Fatal Mascara. Apply the mascara from root to tip. Begin at the root of your upper lashes, wiggling the wand back and forth as you work your way up to capture each individual lash. 
I will not layer the mascara, just one coat is enough because I will be adding false lashes later on. An absolute must for smoky eyes. I'm using this Miss Rose Professional Magic Eyeliner and Seal Eyeliner. This is a dual sided eyeliner. One side comes with the stamp to give you that winged look and the other side has a marker to draw on your eyeliner to give you the perfect winged look. Just apply the stamp to the outer corner of your eye. Then to deepen and connect, use the opposite end of the eyeliner, create the ideal wing your cat eyes in a matter of seconds. Just cover the cap of the eyeliner after use. To apply the false eyelashes, I will use Christine Waterproof Eyelash Adhesive. You can see it's white, but it dries clear. I will use Rita Zane lashes, which come in this gorgeous magnetic holographic diamond shaped box. I bought them in the style Go Glam. Now on the website, it is mentioned these are cruelty free mink hair. For the eyebrows, I use my favorite Rimmel London Brow Pencil in the shade Black Brown. Then I will use this Kohol Surma Powder, which is in the shade Dark Green. The lighting is just making it look very light. It's not. To apply it, just place the applicator on the inner side of the eye horizontally, close your eye, and slide it through your eyelid a few times. I will use this shade Strange. Using a pencil brush, I will highlight the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone. Change the hijab, and we're done! So everyone, if you really enjoy watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye! Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!